Hi, this is the model 214 Tilting Head Bandsaw by Forest Manufacturing. And today we'll look at the procedure we use to change the blade. For this project, we'll need some protective gloves and a light hammer. To allow for blade changes, the pin bar is removable from the table after you move, remove these four pins. Once you take that out, the table will be separate pieces on the left and the right and we can just slide the blade through the gap. To get these pins out, we'll simply tap them from underneath with a light hammer and they should come right out. Got the camera underneath the saw now looking up at the bottom of the table. You can see the pins that hold on the pin bar. We're just going to tap those out. be two more on the other side. Now that we've got the pens most of the way out, we should be able to just use our hand to finish the job. If you can't get them out with your hand, a pair of pliers usually would do it or a hammer with a claw. Once the pin bar has been removed, there may not be anything keeping the table on the rails. So when we push it back to get access to the blade, we need to make sure we stop before we get to the bearings. Stop right there. So the table doesn't slide around when we work, we'll place a hand clamp right here. Let's get these doors open and expose the blade. Now we're here around the side of the machine to detension the blade so we can get it off. Now that we've got the blade loosened, we can pull it off the top of the wheel and start to get it out of this cabinet. So I'll pull it out from the blade guide, and then on the other side, I'll pull it out of this gap. Now it's completely out of the top cabinet may get stuck in the dust collection nozzle right here. It's easy to get out. And now as long as we keep it straight and not twisted, we should be able to pull it straight out. There it is. So before you put your blade in, you want to make sure that you have it the right way around so that the teeth are facing down and moving down toward uh, your cut piece. So if your teeth aren't facing in this direction, we're gonna put it in like this. If they're not facing in that direction, you need to flip your blade around before you put it in the saw. All right. Once we've got our blade the right way around, we just do the opposite of what we did to take it out. We feed it down in this gap, slow and straight. There we go. Now, we can get it started in this gap here. Okay. Now we'll make sure it goes through the dust nozzle and then through the blade guides. We'll make sure it's around the wheel on the top. Okay. It's on the wheel on the bottom. Good. Okay. Now all we have to do is retension our blade. We'll just tighten our blade back up. If you'd like some instruction tensioning blades, we have a blade tensioning tutorial on our channel.
Now we can close the doors. Remove our clamp and reinstall the pin bar. I've started by putting the left and the right pin in this bar and I'm going to insert the left one the first time just to show you that the right one now no longer lines up. That's because the left hand leaf of the table has moved now that there's nothing here to hold that separation. So to get this pin in, you're gonna have to push on the leaf. So I can line the holes back up, and there it is. Now it's in, and we can just tap those in. Now, we'll add this pin, try, and we'll add this pin. So something else, you can see that there's a gap here, but no gap here. That means that this hole is not lined up because this leaf of the table is twisted and this, this side is higher than this side. So something that can help with that is either pull it down to line it up, or if you're not strong enough, use a clamp. And that's it. We've disassembled the table enough to get the blade out. We've got a new blade. We've made sure it's going in the right direction. We've slid it back through the table. We've reinstalled the pin bar and retensioned the blade. We're good to go. Thank you.